Hello, Western Civ. I am here, my apartment in Thailand. I just thought I would give you a little <laughs> outside view of the area I'm in. Um, I have a better view over here, except the sunlight, I think, is not, it's, it's too bright for this uh, camera to handle. Um, there's definitely no lack of sun in Thailand, uh, that's for sure. Um, anyhow, um, I've been hoping at some point, well, as we move along in this class, I will, <coughs> excuse me, show you some more pictures and footage of where I'm at. Um, I needed to clarify something too, that um, I'll st I st should still be available just the same, but um, I have a visa issue um, here. So, you know, what I've been learning, you know, as there's a contentious debate in America about um, being documented or undocumented or what it means to be legal somewhere, well, I'm discovering that everywhere in the world there is a type of debate or discussion about that. Um, I cannot go back to Europe basically for three months, almost anywhere. Um, I maxed out the time that an American can, can get a, a visa to stay, unless you get a, a work visa or a school permit. And um, I was here, I accidentally misread uh, my passport and I was actually um, illegal here in terms of uh, my residency, overstaying my visa. And um, I had to pay a fine and um, I have to leave the country and then come back if I want to stay here. It's uh, kind of complicated and um, I'm not actually, it's not really a good timing for me to, uh, to leave, but leave I must. So I'm going to the Philippines uh, February 1st to the 5th. What is good about this is that um, my daughter is part, my daughter is part Filipino. Um, her Lolo, her grandpa is from Manila um, and her grandmother is from Haiti. So my ex-wife, my daughter's mom is Haitian and Filipino. Anyhow, um, I'm still on good terms with the family and um, and my ex-wife actually, but that's one other topic. Um, uh, so I'm going to be going to Zambales uh, to go see my daughter's family ancestral village area. And I'm looking forward to that. And I will send you some pictures um, as well. So it was nice. I got to go to Sweden to go to my great, great grandfather's village and the area of, of both great grandparents from Sweden and take pictures of those and show a uh, family. And now I get to go to my daughter's family's ancestors. So this is exciting about this trip. Okay. Anyhow, just letting you know, I am going to be in the travel mode. I'm, I'm told that the internet should work well. My um, uh, daughter's, um, I believe it's her second cousin. He's a pastor uh, um, there and he's going to pick me up and take me to church on Sunday and then go to the village. So I'm going to be busy, but I will be available and he knows I have to answer to the, uh, uh, to, to do work for this class. So just to let you know. Okay. So sorry for taking so long to explain that. In regards to the quiz tomorrow that I mentioned, there's no quiz. I just wanted to get all of your attention. Since so many people, so many students did not see or look at my last announcement or maybe understand it. I wrote many of you about the note taking. And um, first of all, I want to say it's, it wasn't really, it's, it, it was, I might have sounded like I was really upset. Maybe some of you think I was. It's, it's not really. It's just that I want to kind of get us, not kind of, I want to get you all up to speed and for all of us to be on the same page to what I'm wanting like right now, right? As we start the semester. So first of all, I want you to watch my announcements um, so that you can understand what's going on. So, so for example, I talk about going to the Philippines. If you have a little bit harder time getting a hold of me or something happens and you need information from me, you'll at least know why. I'm not ignoring you. So that, that updates you on what's your professor doing. 
and my accessibility. And, and second of all, because sometimes I modify or clarify certain things in our assignments. And I started seeing a pattern in the assignment. So early on, I put out an announcement to help get everybody on the same page. And then nobody is watching my announcement. And um, what's the point then, right? So, so please, prioritize the announcements. It's very important. And if I notice that people are still not paying attention, I'm going to do some things that are going to give, it's going to be a reward for those who are watching. And it's going to be a disadvantage for those of you that are not okay so please now again i just really want to say i'm super super happy with the quality of work coming in and the notes actually most of yours uh, all like i would say the overwhelming majority are sending me great notes and really some of you only missed a, a video or two it's not the end of the world but here's the thing i put each video in for a reason and sometimes I want, uh, I, I, there's a method behind my madness. I, I'll put on a video and I put on another one and it's a way to kind of address things that weren't addressed in the other one or to give another perspective. So this last video I put up that a good chunk of you, maybe the majority, I'm pretty sure did not even watch because it didn't say a lecture on it, but it was an, an Israeli archeologist. And he explained certain trends within the, the field of archeology span that even uh, uh, were, were uh, integrated into the Israeli archeology span about uh, ancient Israel. And it addressed in a much more fuller way things that were brought up in that CNN clip that I had. And, you know, CNN, whatever our mainstream media is going to put up, it's going to be very limited, okay, to be honest. So this other video I had um, addressed what was in that video, but, but gave you a chance to have a more full scope view about what kind of legacy and set of debates that have been going on about the topic that we were discussing about ancient Israel within the archaeological, uh, the archaeology uh, um, community, archaeology community, and um, yeah, and, and I thought that was important, and uh, um, many of you didn't see that. So, what, and I know that most of you didn't watch it because if you would have even clicked on the link, I mentioned there about how many notes to have for it for that video and you didn't have to watch the whole thing. And this is what it comes down to. I know you guys are all very busy and some of the videos are gonna be very boring to you and some are gonna be very exciting. But the bottom line is, unless you show me you have notes on them, you did not watch the videos. We know that and you're not going to. Not because you're not studious or, or intellectually curious, you're just too busy and you have to have something to, to to make you commit and pin you down. So yes, I want notes on all of the videos that I show. Sometimes I want more, if I, I want more video no, uh, uh, points made. Um, if it's a longer clip, I write that in the captions or on the link. When, when, when you watch the video, sometimes I write something on the top. Read that too, okay? And um, ultimately, this also is going to be rewarding for you because this system is going to help you learn. And that's what's the most important to me also. And I want to remind you again, I'm going to say this one last time, and I'm not going to keep giving, uh, uh, making uh, announcements with this because this is just the first week and let's get on page with this. This is not required but recommended. Look at Sunday's question first and then go do your notes and you can use those notes to help you out with the Sunday paper. I do not want to see you cut and paste anything. That's plagiarism. And I've already caught somebody cheating. This is not good. And I'm going to really crack down on this. Don't do it. Also, you're not going to lose points, but I'm not going to allow you. I'll let you get away with it maybe once or twice. This is not a research paper. I've said this. 
the only information that should be in your Sunday paper would be something that you extracted from what we covered in class together. From the lectures, from the textbook, uh, or from the documentaries. Because what I'm wanting to, you to do is to synthesize and articulate what you learned from what we covered. So the goal of what I'm trying to do is get you to watch all the videos, think about what was the meat of those discussions, make great discussions in, uh, uh, you know, on, for Thursday's discussions, and then reiterate, uh, clarify a certain point for Sunday to really kind of put that in your mind. Uh, um, and this is going to really help you learn a lot. I, I, I know this. This is a very, uh, um, it's a great way to, to kind of learn as much as you can when you're being maybe overwhelmed with so much other information. You're kind of narrowing down certain things. Here's the other, last thing I want to say on the discussions. Another thing that I'm going to crack down on. Some of you are just responding and saying things. You're, you're, you're giving me fluff. The first comment should demonstrate knowledge of the material we covered, referring to whatever topic we have. Okay? I've let certain things slide. As we move forward, this is always what I'm looking for. When I read your, when I look at your discussions, when I look at your notes and I look at your papers, I will grade very easy and it will not take me that long. I see that this student really cover the material that I scooped out for you all and are you engaged with that material? When I start looking at your discussions and your notes and your Sunday papers and I'm seeing fluff, I can see it. I know what's going on and you're not going to get full points for that. Okay. If you do what I'm saying, regardless of what a struggle you have with writing papers or how hard it is for you to articulate arguments or discussions in those discussions or how hard it is for you to, to write in the way you'd like on the notes, I can see the student who is working hard and doing those things and you will get a very solid grade in my class and you will learn a lot of history, okay? So I just want to make that very clear. This is an amazing section. We're going over Greece. My goodness, how can you be bored with ancient Greece, huh? And it's not controversial. It's not going to be something that, that, that you have to try to work with your, your, your faith or anything. Um, although I'll, I will show you a clip later on about people in Greece and their relationship to the ancient Greek uh, religions now, which might be a little bit shocking. But it, it, it's not going to be. Just sit back, relax, enjoy and learn about some of the uh, important foundations of Western civilization. And get a hold of me if you have any questions, problems, or needs. Have a great week.